we have Kavita again. If you have watched our previous videos, you guys, you can be in to learn. And not just learn here and learn here and, you know, your aunt's activities are on. So today, Kavita, what do you have for us? And we are still working on our working memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. Everything we are doing, either for numerous, either for what, is just all things that we can do to improve our memory. So Kavita, take us through. So now I'm going to say, we also do like daily living skills yeah, yeah. for children. Yeah. In daily living skills, a boy should L. know what he should wear. So yeah. usually he has to start off with his paint so they know that this is what I need first. Yeah. So after that, he needs a vest. vest. So he has to come and put the vest. Yes. And after putting the vest, he has to take the vest and put the vest here that I've put a vest. Okay. So that way he goes on mm -hmm. till he finishes putting on the shoes. Understanding also a girl's shoe and a boy's shoe. Okay? Yeah. So the boy's shoe is like this. Can you see he's putting last shoes? That's when you put the shoe. That's how you know this is the boy's shoe. Mm, and this okay? Is now and now he's fully completely dressed. fully dressed. So the same thing happens with the girl. When the girl starts putting on her clothes mm -hmm. and then till her shoes, till the last one, for her shoes. Mm. So the, the next one she'll put is a petticoat. So you need to look for her wearing this. So this is the one she has put on already. See? Because it's the panty and then the waist. Mm -hmm. okay? I proceed. And then she proceeds on to put what? So if a child forgets, yeah, you can straight away know. You go back and you remind that this was the panty then the vest and then after the vest is there anything else yes it's this one so that's the next one now okay. she's putting the scarf so these are visual visual and understanding comprehending and and this way you can even do uh, comprehension easily easily and this is daily living skills, but also comprehension can come in from Yeah, this here. is now dressing. For dressing. those who are like, my child cannot dress myself. Yeah. These are so the what is the things dressing. you can do? So from here, you can, even if you see the next picture, it says after this, you can see the next color is the pink one. Yeah. So she, you have to look for this and say she put on this. So it's all activities where she has already put. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So she puts on that. So she understands what to put. But if a child doesn't understand, how do I come back? And you and see do with it? these things, there is sequencing. Yes. There is sequencing. You have to do this and do this. There is nothing you can. When you pass through this, then you are not able but to do But you see, some thing. children who are slow can forget or the because they don't has. look into the color. Yeah, what for was the, the time next? Takers, eh? Yes. For the time takers. Yeah. So you go back. And you remind them with the picture. First picture, go to the second picture. And then your third one. If, she, if the child has now put this one, then you remind, is this one here first? Where is mm -hmm. this one first? Mm -hmm. Where is this first? Mm -hmm. Not this one? Mm -hmm. Where is this one first? So yeah. then you give them choice very fast. You give them now the here, choices. Here, this two. And then she'll look at it. Oh, it was this one first. Yeah. So then she'll put this one first. And then come to this one and put it here, down. Mm, all right. So that they don't get confused yes. at all. So you have to go back. So you now understand where to look, where they're, they're make, getting a problem. Yes. And how to get back that memory. Okay. Okay. Yes. But you have to go in sequence staging. Sequencing, so yeah. sequencing is always the best answer to do things with children. Even in numbers, even in sounds. And uh, even in takeaway and plus. And sequencing is so good when it comes yes. to working on memory. Memories completely. Yes. So now if a child has learned my sounds, all the sounds and done double consonants and is ready to now read, uh, do the vowel now, now three from, letter. From activities of daily living out to dress up, yes. you can see the parcels. Yeah. Okay. You got this from where? London. Sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. But I think someone can. Yeah, they can this. always. Yeah, even uh, can they can, can even take a picture 
and then uh, cut it and uh, laminate know, it yes. laminate it and you can and even then make your yeah home, you can yes. do your own puzzle so cut if it. you are struggling with dressing or activities of daily living for both a boy and a girl you can, you can still do this you can do this with your yes. own yes so mm -hmm. now if i say that my child knows um, um sounds okay mm -hmm. and knows the pictures but if i say cat is just reading the cat and doesn't mm -hmm. know cat mm -hmm. so i bring this kind of things where they have to look for the cat mm -hmm. picture so they do the puzzle mm -hmm. they do the puzzle so mm -hmm. linda look for cat where is cat where's the cat look for the cat look look for the picture for the cat ah i can see the face oh <gasps> okay so this is ah so where's the k -k cat k look for the k look open just go around you'll get the k here i got the k so i fix it okay then i look for the t t t yeah hey there you go you made it so now what is it cat so you show the picture, picture. reading and phonetic k a k a t cut cut because you're blending once yes. the blending comes in yeah. whatever they listen yes. are they going to they're going to be able to read it out yeah. for you so these are the pictures you bring out and they make and they read these are all oh. vowels only and double consonants okay and learning to blend you're learning to blend yes Okay? Yes. Are we together? Yes, Just leave sir. it here. It's okay. Yeah. So the next thing I was going to say so is So this is how you can teach to blending. Of yes, words, blending. Phonetics. Yeah. Picture reading. That's it. Sequencing. Because then they can visual it even if they see. So as you're working with memory, you also bring some yes. in there. And the and this one even puzzles, you see they've yeah, done puzzles so for them yes. for it is easy. Yeah. Like a child can take even 10 minutes to finish to this. Finish, yes. And even 5 sometimes, okay? okay yeah. Now this one is more advanced. After you finish like the dressing and doing this, sometimes you want them to just look and tell you what the picture says because with without that they can't comprehend yeah mm -hmm. you want to see whether the logical thinking is going on well whether they've understood it and if they see are they able to comprehend like pictures like this okay okay mm -hmm. so then i tell them what is she doing so they will say she's swinging what's this a sun and what is is she a girl or a boy now you put more words mm. in it you talk about mm. it so each and every picture has got different things a child is doing and a story to tell yes this works on their comprehension comprehension understanding mm. visual and because a child is very hyper and very good at phones mm -hmm. you'll find they want to see this more because more. they're looking yeah. Or from the photogenic, photogenic. Me memory. Yes. They will want to read this one more. So this improves photogenic So memory. much. Okay. Because then from there, I can even say, pretend you are that boy and write a story about how you would like to play a boy. Mm. So that who have gone into different levels will mm. be able to write for us. Yes. Okay. This is called Jenga. Jenga, Jenga is more of understanding into mm. logical thinking how are they thinking yes yeah yes did they understand game rules of games and yes. everything yeah so putting it itself is straight yes and then across yes then straight mm -hmm. then across. across okay yes. they're not same yeah yeah after we put straight mm -hmm. and we put across mm -hmm. we put straight now my turn is mm. to start this thing should not fall and you have to take out a block now you look mm -hmm. so you already look into concentration yes you're already going to the level of the child yes. my turn your turn yeah i push one slowly and i've taken it out the other way oh, did it oh. fall no 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 your turn your turn Oh my goodness. Okay, I hope I get this right. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness. So you're not supposed to hold, do you know that? Okay. 
you're not supposed to hold. So right now I'll help you. You can no. hold. Okay? Yes. Yeah, you pull. Okay, fine. I'll take it. So usually you don't want it to fall. So you know that if I go to the next one and I will pull this one out, it won't fall. Oh, no the side day. one. Because this one is still holding. Yeah. See, if and if I take it slowly, whoever makes it fall is a loser. Okay. See how you can think about it? Yes. How you're playing it? Yes. There's a way of playing these things. Simple but nice. So first they learn to arrange. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing they know how to push and bring out. Oh, I wish all the special needs <laughs> teachers are watching. <laughs> all right. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so this is called Jenga. Yeah, Jenga. So okay, and this game a... is just like the other one for the fish. Yes. And we do the same thing. And we play it two to find out the two together. Talk oh. about it or you can even say, okay. where can you find it also? Mm. So you can say, I, I, find, I find a flower in the garden. Yes. Not in the house. Yes. Until unless somebody gives us a present. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. A cat. Do you find it in the jungle? Talk no. about it later. It's in the house. house. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so you talk about things. When do you use an umbrella? When it's raining. So... Talk of those things after you've done the memory right. game. This is all memory games for one to four for players for uh, three years and, and above. above. My first memory game. Okay. Yeah. And I made mine here only with uh, cardboard paper. Mine, my own. Can you see? Yeah. And I put a wall, uh, this colored paper wrapping papers on mm -hmm. behind mm -hmm. and I put cello tape. Can you see mine is yeah. not anything. So this is handmade. Eh? They're Parents, handmade. Teachers, you, you can, can make, make it. Yours, yeah. You don't need to be to just buy. buying. Yeah. You can make things by yourself and, and keep it ready. This is all uh, done through the computers. Yeah. And then I cut it and I have it done on with the cello tape. Yeah. Just broad as cello easy tape. as that. Yeah. And you make it and then you play the game. That's why I brought it out for you people all to right, see. Okay. Right. All now, these are resources for memory. 